You are now watching Studio Flow. thinking about it like during the whole time we was doing it or whatever but then you know some I had to realize that first before anything I have to get started on me studying for FSA because I have testing next week I don't think that for right now I cannot be I need to start focus, focusing on my school or whatever because mm -hmm. I do have FSA next week gotcha. so I need to focus on I don't think I can do the show right now okay so you you want to drop out of this particular season. Yeah. You have, have no problem trying out some other season. Whatever. No. I have to, um, you know, study a lot, and I cannot have music in my mind right now. Okay. All right. I understand. No hard feelings. Go handle your scholastics. <laughs> All right. Hope to hear from you soon. Okay. All right. Oh, well, he understood me. I mean, he's just that cool. I'm going to get all worked up over a procedure that has an 85% survival rate. Come in. Right now, um, she's helping rank for Alexis. So, because Alexis doesn't have to tell rank for itself. So, Alexis is not going to be number one in my book. So, you're going to have number one? Yeah. She can't write her own rap. Very true, very true. Woo. What I just saw was people sitting here not being able to be as creative as they can. They're not using, they're not thinking outside the box, you know. Nowadays, people getting writers for them, you know what I'm saying? If you're trying to be a lyricist, you can't have a writer for you. Especially if you're going to have punchline on punchline on punchline, you can't have writers for you. If you're going to be like a Kanye West rapper where you're making music that sounds good to the ear and appealing to the ear, then yes, I don't mind a couple writers for you. But that's not what she was trying to do. She, if you're going to try to outdo me and come for me and competition-wise, best believe that I'm going to stay on my P's and Q's at all times. It may not seem like it, but I am behind closed doors. I'm a Floyd Money Mayweather type of guy. I may talk all this junk, but behind closed doors, I'm working 20 times as hard as you. It's just that simple. Girl, why Courtney over there picking on here and talking about me? Girl, let him be here. Uh, he ain't nothing to fit against. I ain't worried about him. He's scared. Already. Right. If you think somebody over here talking about him, you got better stuff to do. Right. You heard them two over there, what they said about you? The key word is two. It takes two of them to be better than one of me. <laughs> Not going to happen at all. <laughs> KYS. Basically, I guess Courtney got offended or whatever that I have a person writing a chorus for me. Like, only a chorus, but I may have to rap by myself. I just need help on a specific part. So, I'm guessing that he's kind of afraid in the inside because of the simple fact that I have a, somebody writing a chorus for me, he feels offended. So, I mean, but that's not going to affect me in no type of way because I'm still do my thing. I'm still writing my rocks. I'm still growing and I'm still shining. I'm going to do it all on my own. And at the end of the day, he's not going to be there for me. So I'm not really worried about his thoughts, his opinions, or whatever he had to say about me. So he can make his little comments, but I'm still do me. Like, I'm going to make it through with or without him. And I ain't worried. So what you got? Um, before I spit anything, I just want you to know that I am taking a shot at somebody. Pink Lottery, Clint, a.k.a. Alexis. Cause she did talk about me. So it was like, cause your side right beat ain't never been street where the Angela will probably go stomp on that beat. Now the only question remains, what's beef? When the better, the names rise, the scenes you show you straight violence. But never mind that I go for platinum, straight diamonds. While you declining over time, I'm straight right in these rhymes. Cause your shot rack beat ain't never been street. Where the Angelo he probably go stomp on that beat. Now the only question remain what's beef? Cause I got all the heat for my opponents if you want it. 
I'm calling this untitled. <laughs> How original, right? <laughs> no, matter of fact, title and master. I, I thought you were going to call it to be a. No, title and master. I don't even know where that came from. That came from out of the blue. Like blue title faces. and master. Yeah. As opposed to untitled and master. Uh, Kendrick. Kendrick? Who's Kendrick? I ain't never heard of that rapper. <laughs> of course, of course you have. It's about what? About me, man. All right, let's go. Session went very well. Um, I feel like I made a big, huge step today with lyrical bars. I feel like the message is gonna get across. You know what I mean? Message will get across to the person that I want to get across to. And I will send a message in the club that I am the best rapper. And in the words of Kendrick Lamar, I will put a rap on left support. Oh my gosh! I had. Right, what, what what is okay? What is causing you to mess up on that particular part? Is there anything that you could do? Yeah. Right. To fix that problem. Delete it. Like, you was going first. Baby. But I don't want to delete it. But then what you gonna replace it with? No, I'm. I, I have like a verse before that, like another verse after that. But I did not like that verse. But it's gonna. Let me ask you this: How many lines is in that verse right there? In this verse? You I don't know. How many lines? Um, my song is about me being number one. But like, it changes in so many parts of the song. It's not only me thinking about myself, but it's also me thinking about other people. Okay, okay so my chorus part, when it's the pretty girl dab, is basically for them pretty girls that's like, like real pretty. Because most people think they have low self-esteem of themselves. So for some of them girls out there, I just want this song to basically motivate them to know that they number one and can't nobody come in between their way and can't nobody tell them they're different. Like. That's how I really feel about that song. Keep it at 16. So tell me how much this is if I stop for this. Go. All black, I'm automatic with the top notch and the crown added. If you think you're lit, I might blow your cameras. I got 22s with the chrome fabric. Give me six, chain 14, carry. Pull up in the bins, I'm too savage. I don't do no lame figure. I'm custom made, nothing page village. I'm a bad habit, straight insta swaggy. Dad born, dad born on my stage jacket. When they see a pretty girl like me, they know a lot of recon in deep. I'm inspired by the CEO, go by the name of Billy CEO. I'ma go hard, do it for she want. I'ma throw it up and I'ma have some fun. Stop. That's a clean. Dang, so I gotta take some more out? No, I'm saying, that's how long it is. So, put a space after that. So you see how long it is. And now figure out what lines you want to replace in that 16 that you want to keep. And what lines you want to get rid of. So you're only your best lines are in that 16. You the only one that's giving me this trouble about practicing out loud. You Everybody else practice out happen. loud. You already knew this was gonna happen though. <sighs> exactly. Do you wanna record or not? I do. So let's practice out loud so I can hear what it sounds like so I know how to edit your stuff. That's the whole point of me hearing you before you get on the mic. Okay, go ahead. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess. I'm not gonna be as good as I was the first time. Okay. Y'all ready? Lottery. I'm finna run through this money, run. I'm the type of girl that come first when you hit the gas, you first and first. I ain't never worried about these little OG things. Got nothing against me, but I'm a hustle baby. I'm a shine thug, and I'm a melee rock, and I'm a fly thug. Hit lottery, if yes, my rap name is something, it's gonna rack in. All black, I'm automatic, I'm top knock with the crown added. If you think you're there, I might blow your camera. I got 22 with the crown. I'm the type of girl that come first when you hit the gas, you press it first. I ain't never worried about these little OG things. They ain't got nothing against me. But I'm, um, I forgot this part. That's what I'm trying to say in my head. What's the name of the song? What, what's the name of the song? What are you naming this song? Oh, me? What are you naming this song? Um, oh, the name of my song. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I really can't. Okay. <laughs> um, to be honest. To be honest, that's what you're calling it? No. What you calling it? Um, you have a title, do you? I don't, because like... So unprepared. No, 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 no. I don't. I just don't have a title right now. I don't know. All right, so you want me to name it Don't Have Title? No, that's I'm like... I'm going to name it Don't crazy. Have Title until you're ready to change it. Oh, Peak Lottery. Just call it that for now. All right, no, Peak no. Lottery number one. I just put Peak Lottery. No, 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 no. What, uh, what you want me to call it? Um... 
Not me. unique like me. Boom. Not unique. Like me. Like me. Yeah. No, no, no. That's mine. Like no, pretty girl dab. Pretty girl dab. That's like the chorus of my song. So okay, like. so pretty girl dab. Yeah. You sure? No. My session with the recording session, mm -hmm. um, it was complicated. It was really stressing and tiring because I came in thinking I was ready like that. And but then again, I didn't want to get behind the mic and mess up. So like it really took a lot of work just to get one verse, one verse practicing at home, still ain't do nothing but learning here. Kept correcting me, kept correcting me, making me redo it and redo it. Made me just get it right even though I did it 101 times and it was really aggravating me but still I did it cuz like I really that's what I wanted so like I needed that like you gotta make you gotta infect the room with your energy you know what I'm saying like everybody has to feed off of how energetic you are when you spit I should be able to watch you when you go to a concert right and you're watching a performer doing their thing it makes you go ooh, and it makes you want to like Jam with them, you know what I'm saying? So, if you're not making them move, why would I even put you on this mic to try to make anybody else move? You know what I'm saying? I think, I yes, I do think I'm gonna win the first assignment. I'm just gonna come out for it. I do think that, like, I might got competition, but I mean, half of these people' lyrics not really about what they say they buy. So, like, I really do think I'm gonna win it. Like, I have so much confidence in myself to believe that I will win it, and if I don't win it. We have plenty more assignments where I'm going to try to win it regardless whether I win or not. But I'm going to win this, y'all.